Hey guys, what is up? I come to you with a double review of Hatsukoi Monster of episodes 7 and 8. And officially, Kaho and Kanade have officially broken up. They have. It, we thought they would have broken up during the hula hoop, but actually Kota came in and told Kanade, you know, try to find another chance to get back with her. And his other chance was playing rock, paper, scissors if Kaho won, then they officially broke up. If he won, then, you know, they're together. They're still together. And it was the best out of three, and Kaho won all three, and she being him, so they are, are officially over. So, Kanade is ignoring her. He's back to his usual self, but he's ignoring um, Kaho, which causes her to feel kind of depressed, because she's thinking, you know, even though we broke up, I'm still going to care for him and then I'm going to wait for him till he comes to the point where he can understand this type of love that I have for him because he is still a child. So possibly, you know, it's going to take a while, but so long as she has the patience, you know, eventually one day they can possibly rekindle that relationship. But we see in the episode where she's following, where she went and was looking at um, Kanade while school was over. She was like peeping on him. And then we see people looking at us like, who's this stalker? And she gets upset when she sees him talking to one of his classmates, the same girl that likes him. And then she's, you know, delusions are playing in her head thinking, you know, those two are flirting with each other and she's getting angry. We see where the security guard is dragging her off because she does not belong there. She's a high schooler at a elementary school and it doesn't look like she's picking anyone up and she's, she's stalking, she's peeping and it looks completely weird. We also have, remember with Kaz, he has his first love, but not in the sense that we hoped for. Remember, he fell in love with the cross-dressed Kaz, who was dressed as a schoolgirl. And then all he has in memory of this beautiful high school girl is her poem notebook. So he's trying to search for her in hopes that he can give her back her notebook and that he can tell his feelings to her because he was missing school. His butler came down from a helicopter and was explaining the situation to um, Kanade and his friends saying that, you know, Kaz has not been in school. His temperature is slightly above average, 97.5 Fahrenheit. I don't know how is that bad, but either way, his, his butler is like, so into his his master like it's not a healthy relationship i like to think it's not okay in in a sense like that but his butler comes and he asks them for help so they try to come up with this investigation um duo um trio and they're trying to figure out a way on how to solve on why kaz is acting the way he is so they somehow found a solution and found out the person that he likes it goes by the name of bathroom hanako and she's always missing because she's in the bathroom with terrible stomach pains so they try to infiltrate their school when like school hours are over everyone has went home but when they try to go there and the doors are locked so there's no way for them to get into the school to go into the bathroom so that cats can um confess to her of course Kota and Taga are there tagging along just to make sure that they don't get into no trouble and of course for the amusement of Taga and Taga knowing that you know there's no way for them to get into the school they start hearing sound from the bushes and he goes on to say you know actually she may be a ghost which scares all of them and they run off and Kaz is still wondering if you know his first love is actually a ghost or is she real and she's just hiding from him so he's still holding on to um Kota's notebook and of course the person who made the sounds was actually Kaho and she, once again she got you know reprimanded by the security guard for being on school grounds where she's not supposed to belong now we saw where in that episode Kanade's character like his upbeat personality and everything was taking like a a steep and then we see in episode A how he's not his usual self and all his friends are noticing it. Like he's not paying attention to a lot of things. He's not being as playful as he used to be. And they're trying to find out various problems, trying to make him laugh. And nothing is working. So we have where Adashi, Taga, and Kota decide to form this plan, this thing called Children's Telephone Helpline where the boys saw some poster and they call this number and one of the three will answer 
and try to help um kind of they figure out what is his problem and what's going on with him of course when they first call when Cass call we have Odyssey who you know he likes boys dressed as girls he says the first thing he says when he answers the phone is like what type of underwear are you wearing and the phone cuts off like this guy is this guy is creepy the first thing you answer and as soon as the boy answers the phone you ask him what type of underwear is he wearing that's a lawsuit okay that like this guy is this this whole entire show is just is 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 weird okay that's just the best way to say it. it's just weird and then it goes on where there where one of his friends um tom is asking he doesn't know they don't know who they're talking to but he goes on to ask Kota like which one is softer breasts or cream puffs he couldn't answer and then finally when Kanade is call, um, answering the call we have where Taga is asking what's wrong and then Kanade explains that you know I I miss someone and then explain that he's actually lovesick okay he misses Kaho and he starts crying because like you know they're broken up and they spend so much fun times together and to find out that they're not that she's not here that she actually left the house he feels heartbroken and then you know him finding out that she left the house and Taga telling him this and the possibility that she'll never come back causes um Kanade to go into a frenzy and trying to find out some way to reach her to where she is going so the place that she's going back to her home is like five hours by drive so the best way their best transportation is to get there by bike of course everyone's tires bust and they have no way of getting there but Taga is willing to drive Kanade to where Kaho lives so when Kaho reaches her home she sees the place is in a complete mess and then she start hearing these weird laughter from her brother with especially with that doll that he made her that accidentally broke back in episode one so we don't know what type of person her brother is um i don't know if he has that like you know the the sister complex or something or he's very lonely or he's sick we don't know for what's going to happen but hopefully we get to see what type of person her brother is and if he will be able to amend their relationship and possibly that he may find out about their relationship in episode 9. So if you saw this, if you saw episode 7 and episode 8 of Hatsuko and Monster, please do tell me in the com comment section below on how you felt about both episodes. Are you continuing with this anime? And really, just how do you feel for the most part of this entire series? Like, what are your thoughts about this? Like, you must have some complex feelings about this entire show. The links are always in the description box. You guys go check that out. And I'm Kimmy Chan of Anime Legends Podcast. And I will see you guys later. Bye.